Uh, my name is Jordan Denmark, and I've been working at Thrive for about five months. I'm on the design team at Thrive, and working with clay is really unpredictable, uh, dynamic. It's kind of like working for Mr. Miyagi combined with Eminem with a little bit of Mark Zuckerberg. The cool thing about working with Clay is that everything translates to real life. He's always giving little marriage tips or dating advice, not necessarily stuff that I would take, but everything translates. I think the biggest thing that I've learned from Clay is the concept of trade-offs. So sacrificial work ethic, you have to give something to get something. Clay is extremely self-assured. He is unapologetically himself all the time. Um, he's hilarious and also sometimes really politically incorrect. People that are really motivated and driven love working with Clay. People that love to laugh, love to be really weird and are comfortable doing that, uh, love working here. Um, on the counter side of that, if you're slow and lazy and kind of just want to float along in your job, not really looking to improve or develop yourself, you're probably not going to like working with Clay. He's always challenging you, always pushing you to be better and learn new skills and step outside of your comfort zone and do things that make you squirm a little bit. Clay's passion for helping business owners uh, grow their businesses translates into everything that he does. It kind of affects his whole self. So everything um, that he does from the moment that he wakes up is preparing himself to uh, share that with people and get his message across. He's always looking for new methods and new medias to reach wider audiences. I mean, that's why he does a podcast, so that he can reach people that aren't physically here. Um, but yeah, it affects, it affects everything that he does. Clay's management style is extremely blunt and, like I said, politically incorrect. So I think that's probably the most polarizing thing that you can be in society today. I mean, he just puts it out there and kind of just sees how you handle it. And that's either gonna draw you in or send you running in the other direction. Um, if you're about to meet Clay for the first time, all I would say is be yourself. He's really good at reading people. All the management here is really good at reading people. And so if you're trying to be something that you're not and you're disingenuous, they're gonna pick up on that. And it's okay, it's okay if you don't like Clay, if you don't fit into the culture here, but they're gonna let you know that. And I think that's really important for this work environment, for your future career and all those things. So just be yourself, just be true to who you are. I honestly have no idea why Clay loves his turkeys and cats and chickens so much. Uh, he talks about loving to feed them a lot. I think my biggest guess would be that they can't bother him with questions. So they're kind of peaceful. I don't know if chickens are peaceful, but they can't talk. That'd be my guess.